Hello everyone, this is Ravikant Pramitkar. Today we'll see uh, the Kill Microvision 5 for the embedded system development. Now, uh, the Kill Microvision is the software that uses the compiler and all that stuff for the creation of your downloadable hex file for the microcontroller. So let's start with the Kill Microvision. Now this icon is particularly taken on the desktop when you install that software. Uh, you can download that software by searching the Kill Microvision on any search engine. You will find it very easy. It's absolutely free and uh, usable till the code limit of 2 kilobytes. So let's double click on that. So this starts with the software. Here we can see the interface that uh, usually that the development environment have the project area and then your different menus that you will find it in the other software. So to start with, let us start with a new fresh project. So you need to click on project, click on new microvision project. Uh, it will ask you to store that somewhere on the computer. So create a folder of your own uh, demo is the name I am giving for the project so my pro or pro demo and save it this will ask you for the microcontroller there are various companies who provide the microcontrollers in the world so the target oriented if you know particular version you can select by typing the name of that particular microcontroller right now I am considering NXP P89V51 RD2 it's one of the controller manufactured by sister co-op Philips company so let us take up with that so it asks uh, whether uh, you want to go for an assembly language startup code to add into your project uh, right now I am going to show you related to this embed C development so will not include this particular or will not copy this particular software so we'll click on no now this will show you the project window here there is nothing apart from the source group one what we need to do is we need to create a new file where i just click on this particular icon you can go through direct like file new or you can click on this particular icon directly here you need to write the code and that code particularly uh, should be in kind of uh, embed c so i can start with hash include the reg51.h is in a standard header file related with the C language of the microcontroller 8051 family. So reg51 and then we need to uh, few writing related to the codes. So we need to start with integer main. The process we need to understand. We need, need not worry about what exactly mean by that particular code right now in subsequent videos that we will be uploading we will come to know about the process and what exactly that syntax means to us so we'll complete this code okay we are completed with the code you can check it out uh, this particular part is related to the delay and this is the program that we are written this is an infinite loop that we are continuing with now we haven't saved it yet so you can press ctrl s or this particular symbol can be used or you can go through the file and then save so either way you can use this this will ask where to save this particular file i will name it as main.c and then i will save it so we haven't included that till in the project you need to click on the source group and add new items or add existing files to the group one so this is the main C we need to add that we have just added that close it you can see the plus sign inside this and then by double clicking on this so next is in your compilation of this particular program so for the compilation you can click on this particular button or you can go through the uh, tools and then either uh, through a debug you can click on this particular button this will show you some of the build output things 
Now this is particularly warning is an unreachable code because it's an infinite loop. This particular part will not be reached by the code. So you can keep this particular part of the code. It's just a warning. If you wish, you can continue with this or you can comment it out. When, once you change the program, you need to save it. Once you saved it, you need to recompile it. So by building it, it's completed. It's giving zero errors and zero warnings. And you can go to right click on target options, click on off, click on an output, create an hex file which can be downloaded into the program, click OK and then go on build again. It's created this pro underscore demo dot hex file for zero errors and zero warnings. So this is how this can this particular hex file can be created. Thanks for watching. We'll continue on updating the videos. Thank you so much.